There's going to be no bones. There's going to be no between in between sets. We want to keep it better. We want to keep the intensity. Guys, um, I'm uh, Zach Fotheringham, uh, personal trainer in Coventry at Future Fitness. Um, we're linked with the uh, workout mill in Leamington as well. Um, uh, I'm a SciTech, SciTech Nutrition and Mass Body Development uh, sponsored athlete. I've got six and a half weeks until I um, make my UK BFF debut uh, in Physique Tools and Basically, what I'm going to do from now until from now until then is try and get a, try and film a couple of um, of my sessions just to show you. Um, hopefully, you see a transformation within me and um, the intensity that you need to, to crack on. You know, when you're in you, when you're dieting, when you when you're in that uh, a calorie deficit, you sometimes you feel like you don't can't you, you know you don't want to train, but you just got to you got to crack on with it. Um, so uh, yeah. Obviously, I'll uh, I'll try and demonstrate, um, you know, good form. Uh, I'll try and explain the the exercises that I'm doing and why I'm doing them, how it's going to benefit with me, how it's going to benefit me within the show, uh, within what my end, end goal, my end product wants to be or needs to be. Okay. This is Craig Ritchie. Uh, he's been training with me for the whole of the 12 weeks I've been uh, I've been prepping for the competition. He's also going to be competing in Fit Factor uh, at Body Powers. Start off doing. Um, there's a lot of weight going to be going through our uh, shoulders today, or a lot of weight compared to for me anyway. Okay, so um, just going to do some, uh, you know, light pressing, some lateral raises. Really, really light. Just getting the blood, uh, blood pump through the uh, through the shoulders. Really. First exercise we're going to be doing is uh, a bit of an unusual one. I'll probably get a lot of people say. Uh, quote about my form on this but it's 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 perp I'm purposely doing it okay just to if anything it's more about a little bit I do believe a little bit of ego uh, ego when you're training is, is important okay so um, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be doing lateral raises seated but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be having a little a little, a little pull up with my back just to allow me to lift a, a little bit heavier than what you'd normally go. You'll notice today that I'm doing a lot of um, lateral raising, and there's not there's, there's there's only one pressing exercise in there, and that's purely because when I'm standing on stage, no one cares how strong I am, and a, a, a compound a, a compound exercise is like your shoulder presses, whether it's military press with a barbell or just with your dumbbells. You know that's going to make you. It's going to give you some good solid good solid strength. Um, but if you want to get so where I where I feel myself where weakness is is on my caps of my shoulder shoulders so doing pressing that's not going to give me caps on the shoulders okay a lot of lateral raises that's going to fill them up and uh, hopefully give me my caps okay so there's no rest period uh, in between for both of us it's just literally one arm one arm one arm one arm you keep the intensity nice and high okay. Okay, we're going to go into our first working proper set. We're going to do three sets, reps between 12 and 15, right? So that's three sets on there. Right, what we're going to do now is just going to put the weights back because genetic is important. Alright, and then we're going to start on with our next exercise. So what we're going to do now, He's going to do lat raises again, standing up. So we've got our, so we've got our cut, so we've got our core involved. And then what we're going to do, we're only going to come. We're going to do a thumbless grip, okay? Because it takes out. I find it takes you out of your grip, and it's going to hit your cat more. All right. But we're only going to come down to there. We're not going to come all the way down to our legs. We're just going to come there, nice and wide, straight up there. So what we've got there 
it's constant time and attention on the shoulders, okay? Okay, you do that, you're going to put a lot on your grip. There, okay, it's going to take you out of the grip, okay? Come on, then. Yes. We're going to focus on a superset with, uh, with our rear delts. Um, we'll, go over, we'll go over to the other, the other side of the gym and we'll be doing uh, rope pullbacks, okay, and then we're going to be hitting cable rears, um, obviously on the cables. What I find a lot is, you see a lot of people just standing there and and, hit, and trying to hit the rears, which is good. I find if you um, if you lying down on the bench, you can isolate them rear downs a lot more, and it's a lot more comfortable than getting your chest out and you know, squeeze down there, okay, all right? Because predominantly we want to we want to do it the way. Um, you feel, feel it the most. Starting to fatigue now. Um, you just got to really dig deep, okay? You do get tired, you, do, okay, you are going to get through half of your session and you're going to think, you know what, I've done enough. And that's the bit. That's the bit where sometimes determines whether you do when you come fifth or you come fourth or you come third or you come second. Okay, you've got to go that extra little bit of mile. Okay, you've got to always think into your head. There ain't no one training harder than me out there. Uh, single, single dumbbell, single dumbbell raises. Okay, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna be hanging off the machine there. Again, just isolating that shoulder a little bit more. We're only going to come down to there. We're not going to come into here because that to there is putting no, no, no tension on the shoulder at all. Okay, all right, so we're going to come to there. We're going to really light. We're going to come up, we're going to squeeze, and we're going to come down again. Okay, nice, slow, nice, slow tempo. Okay. Doing a thumbless, thumbless grip as well on this. Okay, just a really, really big fan of it. Okay, um, where did I get it off? Where did I learn it off? Emma Brace. Uh, I won't take the, I won't take the, uh, I won't take the credit for it. Emma Brace showed me, and ever since then, I've never looked back really on that on the uh, thumbless grip. Unassisted, unassisted uh, shoulder pressing, uh, superset into uh, front raise. So again, our front delts are getting superset together. All right. Okay. Unassisted. What it's going to help as well. Okay. Not only are we going to be working our shoulders, um, but we're also going to be working our core to keep stability from moving back, forward, side to side. And if you've got, an, if you've got an imbalance as well with the dumbbells, what I find, if you've got an imbalance, you'll see the imbalance because you'll come up one side more than the other, which you can rectify. Okay. If you want a, if you want a barbell. If you're strong on one side, okay, you'll tend to use your stronger side to push the back, push the weight up. That's why I'm not a massive fan of doing Smith machine shoulder pressing, okay? Totally different to someone who's trying to get strong. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be like I said before at the start. I'm going to be standing on stage. Um, it's purely on appearance. Uh, you know how I look, how I present myself. Now, someone, one of the judges, aren't going to sit there and think, God, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, he, shifts, he shifts some weights 
when he uh, when he trains. They're not bothered about that. Okay, um, just just bear that in mind when you've got specific specific goals. If your goal is to look good, okay, let's try and keep them reps nice and high. Time under tension, hypertrophy. If you're trying to get strong. Yeah, it's cool. Get them get them heavy compounds in, and uh, you know work on your work on your strength. You know whether that be your one rep max or that be your your, 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 your your threes, your fours, your fives, your sixes. Okay, or your five sets of five. There's loads of methods out there, but. Um, just keep that bear, bear that in mind, okay? Um, thanks for thanks for watching me and Young Craig um, our shoulder session. I hope you take some things away from it and, and implement it into your training, and you know it improves. You know it improves even if it's just that one exercise or that that formula script I says or or only coming down to there on the lat raises. Even if, you're only, even if one of my tips helps you, I feel like if I've done a, a good job.